Honorable Member Sri Derek O'Brien Ji. Thank you, sir. Whenever any legislation or ordinances come here, I always tell myself, we always tell ourselves, we need to look at this in a backdrop. And what is that backdrop? The backdrop is that in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the BJP government led by Narendra Modi won 303 seats in Lok Sabha with a 37% vote share. We remember that. At the same time, I would request this government to also remember that the states of Bengal, Punjab, Telangana, Andhra, Kerala, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Delhi, Rajasthan rejected you. The chief minister, Andhra Pradesh, the chief ministers there are elected to run their states. You cannot cross the constitutional bar. You do your work, let them do their work. They are elected chief ministers. This is the E bill we are passing. Eight letter word, E, epidemic. In 1975, there was another E word which somebody tried to cross. And then you know what happened. Sir, sinister provisions also in this bill. Of course, we want to take care of healthcare workers. Who doesn't want to? You thought about it in 2020. My state in West Bengal has the West Bengal Medicare Service Prevention of Violence and Damage to Property Act. This bill is 2009. What happens to this bill? You are poking your nose into my state. You are not elected there. Amendment 2A. Look at the original bill. It's now the bill says you can search without any reason. Unqualified power to the central government. Bus, train, everything. Sir, this is an attempt to encroach the constitutional assigned functioning of the states. Don't use the excuse as the epidemic. Don't. Sir, look at the imposition of the fines. Yes, you can impose fines. We are, we've got the bill already. But what are you trying to do? The states must be authorized to take the decisions at the level of the state. Seven lakh fine, five years, you cannot take away. BJP is now telling us no politics. Of course, we also don't want politics. That's why we haven't given any amendments. In the true spirit of no politics, I'm not moving any amendments. I'm going to give the government some real suggestions. Let them listen to see and see whether my suggestions are making sense or not, no, no sense. <clears throat> Bengal has the Clinical Establishment Regulatory Commission headed by a High Court judge, 2017. It has capped private hospitals overcharging patients and all the tests. Why don't you consider this, sir? Health insurance. Your health insurance, like our health insurance is Bengal is 10 lakhs of rupees. Only healthcare workers, ward boys, ward girls. Okay, good. What about the allied workers? In Bengal, the allied workers are also covered. Three, suggestion, put it in the rules. Psychological stress, mental health of doctors and healthcare workers, not covered. Take our suggestions and bring it into the, uh, bring it into this, uh, into the rules. Sir, so, Center is paying 60% for all the schemes. State is paying 40% for all the schemes. But when it comes to taking the credit, sir, the center wants to take all the credit. Ayushman Bharat. Ay, Baba, you thought of Ayushman Bharat very good. Imitation is the best form of flattery. Bengal did Ayushman Bharat two years before you. Fully cashless, paperless, the card is not in the name of the spouse, man. It's in the name of the woman of the household. It includes the wife's parents. You can use it for private hospitals. You can go outside. So when I hear from the BJP, this we did first, this we did first. Are Baba, look at the states. Don't only look at Bengal. Look at all the other states. The only time you get interested in a state is when you want to manufacture a majority. You want to manufacture a majority in Madhya Pradesh? you get excited. In Karnataka, you get excited. In Manipur, you get excited. Sir, I've got time to go. I'm, I've got a clock. Sir, and of course, 
Today, one of your most loyal state allies also told you to take a walk. But that's another story, sir. Sir, the center cannot impose its will on the states. It's constitutionally wrong. We will have a debate next week on GST, and we'll tell you about it. Sir, in conclusion, since we are talking a lot about the British 1892, in conclusion, sir, there are only three parliamentary democracies in the world, only three, which still have this ordinance Raj possible. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. So the emergency ordinance route is dangerous. And I want to end, sir, yes, I want to end by something very interesting. Before I joined politics, I used to do quizzing once for my livelihood. Where did these ordinances actually come from? It's interesting. It comes from the Government of India Act 1935. That's the root of all these ordinances. And why? Because the Viceroy could pass anything he want at any point. So the Viceroy and their attitude has gone, but the attitude of arrogance still remains with this BJP government. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Shri A. Vijay Kumar.